this is the energy vibration reading for um, the um, full moon reading for the um, fire sign people I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful like shares and support um, for you fire signs thank you for returning please like and share these videos okay this is the full moon for you fire sign for the month of October November so fire sign is the Aries Leo and Sagittarius um, remember for your um, extended reading for each and every sign there is um, a new method of uh, your extended reading for all uh, Aries different all Leo's all Sagittarius differently so um, that's wonderful that's beautiful I hope you guys enjoyed so in order um, to receive the extended of this reading use this link that link or the link below okay now welcome back let's look and see what's happening as I said please 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 share 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 these videos and um, ladies and gentlemen remember where your houses are for the Aries you have the first house the Aries have the first house the Leos have the the fifth house Sagittarians and the Ophiosis have the ninth house and you Ophiosis you share the ninth house but you also share the twelfth house so whatever is happening you Ophiosis can also each and every house affects each and every person okay but the ninth house is about travels and about all different uh, um, foreign affairs and study spirituality and that sort of thing so we're calling up an Archangel Annual and all the angels for the fire sign people let's come in and check out what's coming in so first I'm gonna be placing for you fire sign people um, you Aries are dealing with a scorpion you um, yeah Aries are dealing with a scorpion um, they are coming up the Taurus is Virgo is falling in their house houses so be aware of that um, Pluto um, whatever is happening in your love life this is going to be shaken up repetition um, um, the if you had an issue with a, a Capricorn with their repetition they're getting back their repetition okay um, so that is falling in that house okay um, what you need to understand especially with Capricorn you try to mess with a Capricorn um, especially with their repetition they're going to be taking back their repetition okay and that's how hurt some people are Virgos is fall in their own house so you got to be aware secrets with a scorpion is going to be coming out if you had some secret with a scorpion it's definitely definitely going to be coming out families are going to be there to help some of you I'm seeing money um, it's going to be coming out family is some healing is going to be coming in in your sex life so um, people who weren't having sex or whatever the issue is uh, definitely um, success over an issue with an Aquarian is coming in and uh, um, the North node is where some of you are going to be um, having have to look within um, to remember what you have done and ask for forgiveness for other people from other people so again the Aries oh I'm not finished there is a transition that is coming in so something could be ending in your life you fire sign people okay so a transition is coming in where something could be ending in your life okay Wow there's a lot of deceptiveness that is at play um, invitation um, family is ending things uh, yes a Capricorn is going to be taking back what is belong to them there is some deceptiveness that is at play so um, let's get in and see what is happening so for you um, 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 first the Aries because it's their house for you Aries you're dealing with a scorpion and there's a lot of secrets about your long-term stability you're dealing with a scorpion and there's a lot of secret about your long-term stability where um, whoever the scorpion is you have secrets for the scorpion and you're going to sell the scorpion out in order to have your long-term stability now 
let's move on this could be your son or this could be a friend but I'm seeing you selling this person out so you can um, you know require long-term stability but it's not going to be working so be careful what you do for the rest of you I'm seeing some of you deal with some secrets about the scorpion or a scorpion is going to be telling you some secrets something to do with your long-term stability has uh, and it's something to do with a scorpion okay so you could be hearing something about a scorpion that is going to affect your long-term stability now long-term stability mean whether at work however but it's in yourself so it could be a child it could be something about who you are are you gonna stay someplace are you gonna move forward secrets are going to be coming out and you're going to be finding out secrets about some aspect of uh, you or something around you okay but it, it, the self it's the first house but you Aries you gotta be careful in a, your financial zone I'm seeing some of you having an issue with a young Pisces it could be a Pisces but I'm seeing someone um, there's an organization there's some situation that is happening in an organization it has to do with young people and I'm seeing a Pisces especially in your financial section whatever is happening in your financial section and there is a Pisces that is coming up and in an organization there is um this Pisces could be helping you or it, they could be um, working against you they could be helping you or working against you it has to do with it could be on the work floor and you're dealing with a Pisces they can either end you or they can either protect you check out the extended reading to know who is the Pisces in this organization and how they are affecting your world and your life okay then as we move forward we are looking at uh, the third um, position of the Gemini I'm seeing some of you definitely having issues with a Gemini some of you are communicating over a deceptive thing whatever this Gemini has done to you I'm seeing you also throwing them under the bus this Gemini is someone at work you're communicating with them or you or working against them by communicating and letting them take the fall for something that you have done so whoever um, you are um, you know be careful because whatever you give out is going to be coming back I'm seeing you speaking about a Gemini whatever they have done or however but I'm seeing some of you could be helping a Gemini or you could be working against a Gemini and it's on the work floor so be careful about that alrighty it could be a friend but it, this is more coming up on the work floor or people around you it could be neighbors and that sort of a thing in the family I am seeing a huge shift up in the family in the family there's a huge shift up I'm seeing the mothers having sorrows I'm seeing relationship uh, marriages I'm seeing an healing needs to take place between you and someone else in the family whatever is happening some of you are hoping that there can be an healing or um, a balance with between you and someone in your family I'm seeing the ladies hoping for an healing between they and their um, um, you know partners um, because there's going to be a shake-up in the family so it could be a separation divorce but there's going to be a shake-up in the family where Mars whenever Mars come in in a family life that means uh, some information is about to come in some shake-up with a family so your ch child could be in some serious trouble whatever that is transpiring that shake-up is coming in the family for you guys and it has to do with and it's going to um, affect uh, people who are in relationship the married people are okay but I'm seeing people in relationships and people who have children this is going to be happening too all right sorry for the light because um, we are like in getting into um, autumn so the energy of the light go down and um, back in Europe so sorry for the energy of the light the fifth house you Leo's what's happening you Leo's are definitely going to be connecting with a Taurus some of you Leo's um, once a new start with a Taurus whoever the Taurus is it could be a friend 
um, I'm seeing that you want a new start but I'm not seeing this um, new start coming up um, for the Tauruses okay some of you could want a new start with a friend but I'm not seeing this happening so whoever you Leo's are that have a friendship or relationship but it's more a friendship that you used to have with someone and um, you want this to return you Leo's are going to be the bombshell whatever is happening you're gonna be the bombshell in whatever you're doing go check out your extended reading use the link below because what is happening for you Leo's is that um, Taurus is you could be connecting with the Tauruses for the rest of you who wants to rekindle with a friend no it's not gonna happen um, this friend um, it could be they want to reconnect to you or you want to reconnect to them but it, there is a sort of a block that is coming up okay for the Virgos, um, the the Virgos are in their own house and is in the house of the career. I'm seeing some of you that an an invitation. I don't know. It's that um, an invitation should be coming to you from a Virgo. It's not going to be happening. Whatever the issue is and the situation is, because twice it fell out, so that don't expect the invitation because it's not going to be coming. The sixth house is the house of uh, career, so um, it could be a boss, um, and um, some of you could have applied for a job or so. You're not gonna um, receive the answer um, in this full moon, but maybe at the end of the full moon. Um, whatever is happening with your career, I'm not seeing a new start um, with your career. So keep hold on to what you have and uh, um, don't let it go. In career is some of you your boss you were hoping for um, um, if you know some of you were open for an extension or a promotion it's not gonna happen sorry go check out your extended reading um, because the extended reading are broken up in um, different section the Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So go check that out because maybe that was happening. Now, in the seventh, seventh house, this is the house of friendship and the house of legalities and that sort of a thing. What is transpiring is that if some of you um, have a legal issue or have a conflict between you and an Aries, I am seeing that this situation is going to come to an end. And this Aries um, or Aquarian might have to pay you some money I'm, I'm i'm seeing that some of you had an issue with an aquarian and this could be a friend or a family member i am seeing that whatever you were doing whatever business or whatever illegal thing you were doing with an aquarian this is going to hit you because i'm seeing um there could be a lawsuit and end of a lawsuit this is going to be hitting you because i'm seeing this whatever that has happened whatever that has transpired i'm seeing this this is going to be hitting you and hitting you in uh, every spot so whatever is transpiring i'm seeing an end coming in to family um stability so you know go check out the extended reading because that is going to give you more information as to who it's going to be affected because this is in the house of relaxation the house of connecting with other people and that sort of a thing as we go to the house of intimacy I see Pluto coming in so I'm seeing transition and healing okay so Pluto in the house of intimacy this this is the house that with the person who you are intimate with the person who you sleep with the person who you go to bed with whatever way there is healing that is coming in I'm seeing that some of you if you're in a relationship with a someone and the love and the sex wasn't there it's going to be returning okay because there's a healing is going to be coming in and the sex is going to be turning because it's as if Pluto removed what was blocking um, the connection between you and this person because some people are not aware that other people will put blocks between you and your partners when you're in a relationship and then all of a sudden you lose uh, um, the less for each other there are some sick people out there ladies and gentlemen and they really do these things okay so be aware of that so whatever that was happening with your sex whatever that was happening in your sex life that 
um, your partner and you you don't know, don't connect as you should there's an healing is coming in okay as we look at the ninth house the ninth house has the energy of uh, issues and situation with foreign countries and some deception deception and this deception has to do with an Aquarian and a Gemini and this is a past life issue some deception it has to do with uh, um, study it could be a uh, study it could be spirituality it could be but whatever it is between you and a Gemini and uh, an Aquarius a Sagittarius is going to be finding out the deception um, with you a Gemini and a Aries uh, and this is a past life issue and you need to resolve this situation because I'm seeing that a Sagittarius is going to be finding out and showing up the lies and deception um, that a Gemini and um, an Aquarius have done this is a past life issue that some of you are dealing with and, and Sagittarius is going to see what you have done now the energy with the reputation the reputation is the energy of the tent house and this is coming up because some of you whoever and whatever that was there and someone tried to ruin your reputation um, I'm getting it for whoever tried to ruin your reputation if you're Leo Sagittarius it, your reputation is going to be coming back but for the Aries people if you try to ruin a Capricorn reputation or somebody else's reputation they're going to um, let you fall they're going to let you fall because if you try a uh, Aries and this is for the Aries if you try to ruin a Capricorn reputation they're going to take you down and they're taking you down you they are going to take you down so don't even try it because I see that some of you Aries for the rest of you Leah's um, Sagittarians and Ophiosis is a good your reputation is on point uh, but for the people who try to take down a Capricorn reputation you're gonna be falling because this Capricorn is um, they rule the house of reputation I'm seeing luck coming up against you and uh, and um, you and an Aquarius whatever the issue is or whatever the situation is you have won over the Aquarian so some of you were having some issues and situation with an Aquarian you are going to be the winner luck is in your house okay um, your 11th house that you're dealing with issues whatever issues that you come to an edge with and you thought that there was no more hope there is hope you have luck there is hope and it's only for the people who was um, deceptively hurt by Emon by someone okay it's like someone set out for you to hurt you you have luck some of you have given up open faith and um, you are going to be realizing that this is going to be turning around in your favor so this is going to be good as we look at the 12 hours the energy of the 12 hours is that the north node is in the 12 hours and it is for the people especially the people who have done injustice to other people I'm seeing you being confronted by what you have done so in the 12 hours is where we you're and, and the north node is in the 12 house so it's like your angels and guides and your higher self is kicking you and said look what you have done to others how could you have done that you should be of love and light what had gone so wrong that you have done this and especially for the young people between the ages of 18 and 45 you are going to be confronted with what you have done and you have to ask for forgiveness so if you're between the ages of 18 and 45 you're going to be confronted with what you have done and forgiveness is the only key to get out of this situation because if you don't ask for forgiveness from someone else or someone else asks for forget you you are going to be realizing that forgiveness is the only key to get out of the situation and it's affecting the people between the ages of 18 and 45 so if you're 18 and 45 you're going to be seen yourself you're going to be confronted with yourself over some and whatever you have done to against another person it's going to be coming out and it is going to kill you your conscience is going to be your guide so you gotta heal the situation so we have gone through all the 12 houses and I'm seeing um, if we've gone through all the 12 houses and what I'm seeing is that um, for you Aries it's, it's kind of a rough period I'm seeing you throwing 
um, a scorpion under the bus um, I'm seeing you letting out the secrets about the scorpion um, and this is wrong because you both had deceptively did whatever you have done it is wrong you have both deceptively did whatever you have done and now you're trying to throw a scorpion under the bus then we have the energy with a Sagittarius and the Ophiosis. You are going to be showing up that a Gemini and an Aquarius has done some deceptiveness. Okay, so this is good because you Sagittarians are really um, Sagittarians and Ophiosis. You're going to be finding out that a Gemini and an Aquarian has done some real deceptive um, situation that you're going to be speaking up about what has transpired. Uh, some of you are going to have an issue with your financial situation, but you're going to be able to balance this out. For the people who are dealing with Virgos, the Virgos are standing really up, and I'm seeing that they, especially for the um, Aries, there, the Virgos are going to be standing up against you, and the Virgos are going to be winning. Okay, so if you uh, Aries had some issue with the Virgos. They're going to be standing up against you and they're going to be very successful coming out of this. For um, the Leos, I'm seeing this kind of balance because the Virgos, um, you know, really like Leos and I'm seeing that they're trying to work. Um, some of you maybe wants to reconnect with a Virgos, you Leos, but it's, 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 the invitation to opening um, it's not going to be there. Okay, Sagittarius, I'm seeing you trying to get back somebody reputation that's that um, another fire side and try to ruin someone's reputation I am seeing that you're trying to bring back somebody's reputation because of lies and deception what has happened and what has transpired I'm seeing a whole lot of you Sagittarians are going to be getting out of stuff where you are going to be telling the truth of what has transpired okay whatever legal suit legal issues and situation I'm seeing um, there is a financial transformation in the house of uh, um, if you're in a relationship with an Aquarian or you're having an issue with an Aquarian whatever that is transpiring between you and an Aquarian I'm seeing that there is a transition that is coming in so be aware of this so there is just so much that is happening for you guys um, but especially for the younger people between the ages of 18 and 45 I'm seeing really that some issues um, between you and others is going to be transform, transform, transforming. I'm seeing you really looking at yourself at what you have done. So if you're between the ages of 18 and 45, I'm seeing you really confident there with things that you have done. Please like and share these videos. I want to say thank you so much for returning. Namaste. Until next time.